all right. Too late to sign up? With one slot free for anyone willing to play the Skellige deck. Yes, a face no ointment could help. I assure you, Skellige is just as strong as the other factions. It shall soon be considered canon, of this I'm certain. I don't know. Always been an Ilfgaard man myself. I must give it some more thought. Geralt of Rivia. Saw a notice about a Gwent tournament. By all means, you've come to the right place. I am Count Martin Monnier, organizer-in-chief. Our tourney is more than mere diversion. We've a mission, see? To spread word of my brother's brainchild, Skellige, a new Gwent faction. These new cards, tell me something about them. Their design embodies the Isle's spirit. The rage-filled potency, the rough, brutal beauty. Famed Skelligers, heroes of lore, berserkers and beasts, Ogolas from the cards. Bran Twirsek is the faction's leader, of course. And the other famous Skelligers? Yalmar and Serison Kryte, naturally, though not conjoined. Also Hemdal the hero, the venerable druid Ermion, the list goes on. New deck? Where'd you get the idea? I mean, why bother? All Beauclair knows me as a great lover and promoter of Gwent. My brother, dead for some time now, was known to be the same. We shared another great passion, travel. Spent a great many years at sea in our youth, marking out our territory <laughs> in multiple corners of the world. Yet the one that truly grabbed us by the stones were the Skellige Isles. The stormy sea, consumed by a fever, a suicidal all, dashing itself against somber cliffs. That is the image I retain. It and others like it inspired my brother to devise the new faction. The tournament. Where do I sign up to play? Right here with me. I've one slot open, but there's a condition. You must use cards of the Skellige faction. You see, I've already asked a great many seasoned players to do the same. Alas, all fear novelties, disdain process, care too much for the climax for winning. So they insist on playing with their tried and true decks. Long story short, you need a sucker who will risk it. Take a stab at proving Skellige's no worse than the established decks. Best way to do that would be to win this tournament using your brother's cards. We understand one another perfectly, I see. Behold this trophy, standing stiff and strong. It could be yours if you win. Hmm, not bad. Could look great in my house. On the sideboard, maybe. All right, I'll give it a shot. Play using the new faction. That is an exceedingly good rub to my loins. Just one small adjoinder. I can only provide you a basic Skellige deck. My brother, alas, gave away or lost many key cards. No chance I can win the tournament with these cards? An issue easily resolved. You must simply face local Gwent competitors, win the missing cards from them. Besides, it would be very good practice for the tournament itself. Here, the cards I can spare you. Take them, please. The rest I keep for myself, for I too intend to play as Skellige. Doth one no. Slave doth one grapple a few beasts.
Yes, I face no point in this hotel. Welcome. The tawny is on the way. Might I glance at your deck? Sure. Here. An impressive array. Count Monnier waits inside. You may enter. Thanks. There you are. A pleasure to see you again. The Skellige faction, how do you find it? Honestly, not one of my favorites. Hmm. Yet I believe you will easily win the tournament wielding it. Any specific tournament rules? Mind giving me an overview? Firstly, might I introduce the contestants? Superb Gwent players all, hailing from the world's farthest corners. Hamal Ochen Dankbali, an Ofieri merchant. Eric van Frog, a patrician from Novigrad. And lastly, we are proud to welcome a Skelliger. Ye blind? Not Skelliger, Skelliger, dammit! Naturally, no offense meant. Agnetha Skolt, her effort charming isle temperament in evidence, along with assorted beats, baubles, ropes. As to the rules, they're simple. Each player adopts a faction they cannot change for the tourney's duration. Lose a match, and you're eliminated. The winner from among you shall advance to the semi-final to face the winner of the tourney's previous edition, His Excellency the Ambassador of the Empire of Nilfgaard, Master von Hin. The winner of that match shall in turn face none other than me, your humble servant. Hand off our Gwent! No new fucking factions! Protesters have gathered outside. Quite a few, it seems. Hands off our bloody game! We didn't want any new factions! Money, you dozy cunt! Stop doubling with dwarven tradition! Change cannot always please everyone. Gwent traditionalists resent my efforts to expand the canon to include Skellige, but we shall pay them no mind. Mind telling me what factions the others will be playing? It is no secret. Eric van Frog will play the Northern Realms. His Excellency, in a flush of patriotism, chose Nilfgaard. Hamal Ochendagbali will play the Monster Stack, and Agnetha Skold has chosen Skoyatel. Yours truly, of course, shall await the winner with a Skellige deck. I'm determined to prove its value. Ready to start if everybody else is. I invite you to join me on the terrace. The Herald shall soon announce the tourney's start. Let the tourney begin! In round one, Agnetha Skult faces Eric von Vrog, and Geralt of Rivia plays Hamal on Gangbali. Let's grab a table. A wager would you wish to make? What do you have in mind? Weapons do I collect, and your sword of silver my eye has caught. Should I win, I should take it. Should I lose, to you another equally precious shall I give. So be it.
congratulate are you? What drove me to wager a sword against you, my not? Clearly to guide me, the universe ceased. Here, you may it serve well. I'd never have lost if you hadn't cheated. And my land folk who slander like that don't live long, because we didn't let them. Accuse me of cheating again, and I'll cut your tongue out. Enough. Hands to yourselves. As Gwent is a gentleman's sport, we expect all its players to demonstrate impeccable manners, and we cannot tolerate any disturbances. Thus, by decision of Count Monier, the contestants from Novigrad and Skellige are hereby disqualified. Gentlemen's sport. Well, I'm a lady, and we ladies don't give a flying fart about a tourney where any measly prick can accuse us of cheating. With round one completed, the standings are as follows. Agnetha Skolt and Eric Van Vrog both disqualified. Geralt of Rivia has defeated Hamel Ong Denbali of Ophir. In the semi-final, Geralt shall face the defending champion, Ambassador Von Hin. I am honored. A pure pleasure to play you. The pleasure was mutual, I assure you. Congratulations, Witcher. Stop desecrating Gwent! De de any and all new factions! Seems there's some trouble brewing. Scoot, Olius! Off your asses and hide to Skellige! 
Yeah, I love it. Seal sloppers. Please remain calm and stop the verbal attacks. Stop your mum from fucking ferrets, Monier! And hands off our Gwent! Maybe instead of hollering threats, you ought to just explain what it is you want. We've said it plenty of times, yet no one ever listens! Got me listening. Gwent's an ancient pastime. Its rules were set ages ago. Exactly. Determined in keeping with the laws of nature. There should be four factions. That is the optimal number. We'll not tolerate the introduction of any others. It would disgrace the tradition. Aye, leave our Gwent the fuck alone. Enough of this. Didn't come here to Java but to bring fucking heat in defense of tradition. Come on, lads. Off a bit. Fuck. Seeing triple. Quadruple, even. Enough! I shall summon the guard! I got this count. Sure, you can shut this tournament down, but there'll be another, with who knows what new rules. If you don't like them, don't enter. Play somewhere else however you want, but you'll never stop other folk from playing however they like. Bollocks! Like my good friend Zoltan Chive says, one says you're talking bollocks, they could be right, they could be wrong. But if multiples say you're talking bollocks, well, you probably are. So let's take a vote. Who else here thinks I'm full of it? Sultan Chive! Haven't seen that rascal in ages. How's he doing? Was in Novigrad last I saw him. Be glad to tell you more over a flask of something strong. Attention, everyone! Our outing's taken a new turn. We're to sit and drink vodka with Sultan's pal. Gentlemen, wait. We've still the final round of the tour to play. I know. Fuck that. Aye, Yaki Raffiberg, to hereby declare my participation in this tournament. And I demand to play the victor. We'll settle whether this scaling of factions worth a flaming bag of shit! Once and for all! Agreed, but please, show some patience. We must first play a pre-final. In the, uh, pre-final, Count Monnier, representing the Skelliger faction, shall face Geralt of Rivia, also playing with a Skelliger deck. My brother's dream has come true. Skelliger in the final, and played by both contestants. Good luck.
Congratulations! The best man has won. Playing the best faction to boot. Thanks. Good game. Skella got one! What a bundle of pish! Tournament's not done! Now, that's my turn. That is what we agreed. Let us resolve our differences here and now. Now to determine the ultimate victor! Geralt of Rivia, playing the Skelliger faction, shall face Yaki Raffiberg, playing... Skyatel! Let the better man, or dwarf, win! What hurts most is fucking Skelliger one. But as they say, tough shit. Congrats. Come on, lads. Let's get soused. No, you must stay, for I wish to treat you all to a tipple. We must toast the premier of the new faction. And if anyone wishes to play a friendly match of Gwent, I see no reason why not. Thank you for everything, Witcher. Don't think that went exactly as you planned. What matters is we played well, and I presented the Skellige faction. You proved yourself a true Gwent master. Here, the grand prize. You earned it. Count. Thank you once more for deigning to take part in my little tournament. I hope we shall meet again. Who knows? Farewell. Terms of traditional values and morals. That is the remedy for two sauce problems, not two sauce. to our domains, flout its writ and brought in chains.
I see. One false Mr. move and you will regret it. Keep calm. Start no brawls. Oh, Witcher, greetings. Kind of you to come. Matilda and I, we've a surprise for you. Hmm, you two seem to be getting along. We are. There came a point we realized we had no grounds to quarrel. Things became altogether pleasant. And a bit spicy. Romantic, quite. Got it. Needn't say more. Glad things are going well for you. What's the surprise? Some new monster I need to kill? No, something far more pleasant. We've produced a wine. According to the best sommeliers, it might just dethrone Est Est. We owe this success to you. So, if you'd agree... We'd like to name it after you. What shall we call it? Why not White Wolf? Wild, with character. It fits perfectly. If you wouldn't mind, we'd like to send a few bottles to your home every so often. I'd be honored. Thanks. No, we thank you. Take care, Witcher.